What's up YouTube? Welcome back to AV. Today I have an interesting, or I'm a little excited to do this review because it's something to break the monotony of disposables and pods. It's going to be a Vapus Cloud Dreadnought V2 RTA. And we'll also go over their new e-liquid from Vapus Cloud, which is Layers, which I've received from them as well. Let's get into it. This said to me for Vape Scott, so I could change my opinion of this RTA. Now, this is an RTA that they've come out with, the V2, and it does take Falcon coils. Okay, so the way they get around the TPD um, jargon uh, is to make it an RTA, uh, but you can also turn it into a uh, sub ohm tank, which takes Falcon coils. These bad boys right here, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive down, I'm gonna show it to you, check it out. I'm gonna put a build in it, wicked up stills, come back up top, pros and cons, vape on the RTA, take the RTA section out, put the Falcon coil in it, vape on that. I'm gonna give you the what I feel on those two and my final thoughts. And I'll let you know about the e-juice. Sit tight. Package it comes in. Very nice package, uh, 20 millimeters in diameter, all right, matte black, gunmetal, and brushed stainless steel. I got the matte black. Gonna come with a user manual. They get the Dreadnought V2 RTA. Also can use with Falcon coils. O-rings and additional uh, flathead grip screws. Does not come with Phillips head grip screws. That is a pro, that's a good thing for me. So it's TPD ready, two MLs, right? But they also sent me a turret kit so it makes it a little bit taller. You can, it comes with a bubble glass and a straight glass. And it also comes with an additional chimney, which is going to make it a little bit taller, uh, which is going to obviously hold a little bit more e-liquid if you wanted to do so. A Dreadnought V2 uh, normal bubble glass, all right, without the turret kit. I don't know how much e-liquid that's going to hold, to be honest. I think probably, you know, 4 mLs. The talls, maybe five or six, you know, but they don't talk about that. That's kind of the whole point with the TPD edition. All right, so you got clickable bottom airflow. All right, it's going to say Vapus Cloud on the bottom, 369, non adjustable 510 pin. You're going to have a 810 drip tip up top, top fill, quarter turn, like that. Very, very nice. Nice machining on this one. Okay. This is where the magic happens. All right. So, unscrew it. That's the base. As you can see in here, pop this out. That is the chimney. And it is going to come with this deck. It's just a two post flathead grub screw design deck. All right. And uh, you can use this, or if you didn't want to use that, you can use Falcon Coils by Horizon Tech. One of the best coils on the market. People love them. Um, I'm very happy that they went with, uh, you know, the Falcon Coils on this. This is a triple coil. You have all these different uh, coils that you can get. This is the M triple. You can use these Falcon coils. Oh yeah, buddy. Really, really good coils. 0.15, 80 to 85 watts. Just to show you, here's the Falcon coil. And here is the deck. You just screw it in. All the way in. If you're gonna use the uh, Falcon coils, you're gonna have to have the turret kit. You would basically screw this on to the top of the coil. In order to get the Falcon coil cracking, you gotta take this barrel off. All right, take that barrel off. See how this threads? And this threads with the turret kit, it threads into here. You can also do the smaller, which I'd probably recommend, um, just cause your mouse closer to the coil. I mean, you don't have to, but, um, all right? So then you would have the Falcon coil in there like so or like I showed you 
take off that, put on the little additional chimney. Make sure you grab like the tall glass. And then you can screw that and it's a little bit taller. I mean, I think it looks better with the turret kit. You know, kind of looks, I don't know, it does look better personally, but you do have that extra additional space that is distant. It's it's not a crazy distance, but, you know, as you know, and then you can do it that way. You can run it that way with the Falcon. All right, I'm going to use some uh, Flat Baby NI-90s. Uh, I was going to use some Mux, James Mux, but uh, I didn't have the right, I think I ran out. up on the Dreadnought V2 RTA by Vapors Cloud. So, what do I have to tell you about it? Well, I got the uh, the build in it. I got the RTA deck 
with the build in it. I put some wraps coils, uh, 0.16, they're not actual 0.11s. They're a little bit higher, which is good considering the airflow that you have on this Dreadnought V2. It's not like open like the Asgard or the Asgard Mini or the Valkyrie. It's not that open. It's a little bit more restrictive. I would say the airflow is maybe a little bit more restrictive or similar to the, what's that? The IDA that they recently came out with that I absolutely love. I can't think of the name. Oh my God. I love it. I just can't think of the name. Anyways, so he knows the name of that. I'll probably remember after I do this video, I'll look it up and I'll post it in the comments. But let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, matte black, gunmetal, brushed stainless steel, three colors you can get in. Uh, 0.16 Kendo vape cotton inside. Uh, it's showing up as a 0.18. All right, 105 watts. I have some of the layers red berry triffle. I think that's, yeah, triffle. How you say it? All right, that's the... Uh, Jesus, is this going to like focus? I have to literally wait like five minutes for this camera to focus. Anyways, layers cake, red berry, truffle inside, 7 vape, 105 watts. <sighs> FYI, my layers e liquid does not have nicotine in it. They, UK, you can't send e liquid with nicotine in it. And they didn't send the, the little Nick bottles, which is fine. Um, so I can't give you like throat hit and all that stuff. But anyways, wide open airflow. Really nice, um, smooth airflow. Uh, Mid-range, direct long. It's a little bit restrictive. It's very nice. Two post deck, flathead grub screws up top small wicking channels you know they had to kind of keep it a little bit small to be able to swap out put in falcon coils etc um flavor is good i would give the flavor probably like uh seven to a seven and a half out of ten airflow is really nice i'd probably have to give the airflow about a seven uh out of ten um yeah it vapes really the wicking is good as long as you wick it right i mean it wicks really good i wicked it extremely small and thin uh, and, and and had them sit inside those channels, not like choked off, not like super tight, but not super loose. Kind of like, you know, like the way you want your underwear to feel when you put them on, right? You don't want them choking you off, but you don't want them falling off either, right? You want them kind of in the middle. Ha! <laughs> she said. Anyways, um, vapes really, really nice. So... A10 drip tips fit. You can use your own A10 drip tips. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the deck out and I'm going to put in the Falcon coil and I'm going to put in the dark berry triffle. So before I do that, let's go over the red berry triffle e-liquid. Um, it's really good e-liquid. Um, it's got like a nice strawberry ripe note to it with like a, a creaminess complexity. It is on the sweet side. So if somebody likes... Really sweet e-liquid, this is going to be up your alley. If you don't like really sweet e-liquid, then it might not be up your alley, you know? But I think it's well balanced. I think they crafted it very nicely. I really like the e-liquid. It's got, but it's got, it's got like a little bit of a, how do I say it? A little bit of like an aftertaste of like a sweetener aftertaste type thing. And I think that's because I have no nicotine in it. Like it's, I'm straight vaping the 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 juice like I, there's no nicotine whatsoever there's no peppery there's no bite so i think it's kind of throwing me off when i give you the description of how i experience the e-liquid um, i wish i had some nick shots around i could pop in there and kind of shake it up and give it a little bit i'll try to do that and come back and do a standalone video on these or just post somewhere or just let you guys know one another video something like that because I do have a uh, Ripsaw RDA review coming up for Suicide Mods. So we'll just keep that in mind. But now I'm going to shut off the camera, sw swap this out with the Falcon Coil, the Triple Coil, and we'll get back there. I got the Falcon Coil 0.17 Triple Coil inside. Um, I put the Layers Dark Berry Triffle inside as well. Primed it up a little bit. 
vaped on a little bit, got it up to the prime recommended wattage, 80 to 85 watts. I have it at 80 watts, showing up as a 0.17. This is what the Dreadnought V2 ATA was really made for, was to put Falcon coils in it to get around um, the, huh, you know what I'm saying? So without, without that being said, ha, huh, no pun intended, um, let's have vape. But that's what the main priority uh, focus for this uh, RTA was designed for, was to use the Falcon coils. All right, 80 watts, Dockberry Triffle from Vapor's Cloud. Let's have vape. Nice. It flows very, very smooth with the Falcon coil. I think it's a lot more smoother with the Falcon coil than it is with the deck. Um, I think it's a better experience with the Falcon coil than the ATA deck, right? Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting that I'm saying that, but kind of makes sense. I think the deck is an afterthought, right? You're out of Falcon coils, you know, um, you can pop in the deck and use it as that right there is a difference though um it's more a lot more smoother with the coil falcon coils are really really good coils uh, they're very popular they're very easily to purchase um so i think that's why they went with the falcon coils and not like another maybe a newer coil like a freemax coil kind of surprised they didn't go with a freemax coil but falcon coils are very popular and they're readily available kind of everywhere so and they are a pretty consistent coil and yeah all right that's 80 i feel like i could bump it up to 85 that's kind of on the the threshold of this coil and uh, it wicks good, wicking great. Yeah, 85, this thing shines. 80 to 85, I feel like 85 shines a little bit even better than 80. It's only 5 watt difference. But anyways, I digress. I really like the looks of this with the Falcon coil in it. I like this performance on the Dreadnought V2 with the Falcon coil in it over the deck. I'm not saying the deck doesn't vape good. It just feels that this shines with the Falcon coil in it. FYI, anybody that's interested in looking at the Dreadnought V2 RTA wants to get it interested in it. Um, I'm trying to give you some good feedback to make your, your executive decision on purchasing it or not. Okay, that's my job here. I think it looks better with the Falcon coil. You could get the, uh, you can use the turret kit which is gonna add a chimney section on the top, right? It's gonna make the glass taller Basically, it holds more e-liquid. Now, your mouth is going to be a little bit farther away from the coil, but we're talking, you know, a half an inch, you know, a half an inch away. So you're getting probably another ML, two MLs, maybe three MLs, maybe the tall with the turret edition. Might It doesn't really say on their website. I think they can't say anything on their website. I didn't measure it, right? But I'd say it probably holds five to six mLs of e-liquid. I could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. I don't think so. Also has a bubble glass with the turret or a straight glass with the turret. So the bubble probably holds six, seven, maybe eight. I don't know. I'd say six or seven. And the straight holds like five, I would say. And this way probably holds about two, right? Maybe, I'd say two. I think they have to make it two. Or I think it holds two with the RTA deck in it, and this holds maybe three ml, something like that. You know, I'm just throwing out numbers based on me doing this for seven years, not measuring it, and giving you my assumption. It's a guesstimate. Don't take it for face value, just giving you a rough estimate. All right. Now, the Doc Berry Triffle E Liquid. It's nice, man. Both of these E Liquids are on point. Uh, that one's like a mixed berry. Uh, I feel like it has maybe. It's the same profile as the strawberry. They're both equally good, but one's like a mixed berry note flavor and one's a stra ripe strawberry flavor note. Um, I think they're both really good. I think they would be better with some nicotine in it, personally. It would kind of round out and body the e-liquid, give it a little bit of extra 
deepness to it a little bit more in the in the throat you know what i mean it's kind of i've always noticed vaping e-liquids with no nicotine versus a little bit of nicotine in it it does change up the flavor profile it does add deeper notes it adds more of a body to it if you know what i'm saying but anyways i digress this is a really good uh, Dreadnought V2 ATA, but I think it's a really good Dreadnought V2 Falcon Coil sub ohm tank, right? That's really what this is marketed towards. This is really what it's made for. And I think they hit the mark really well. The airflow on this is extremely smooth. The top fill on it is a nice, tight, snug fit. So over time, with that O ring getting lubricated with e liquid, I think it's going to be the perfect tolerance. It's gotten better uh with e-liquid getting on the o-ring etc uh, it's a quarter turn sometimes you have to rock it a little bit to pop it off really nice fill fill uh channels um very easy to fill up very i don't get any leaking on it with the falcon coil i do get a little bit of condensation leaking on the deck but that's probably user error um, i think i underwicked it just a tad it's tough to really get it on point, you know what I mean? But I saw those wicking channels and I said, man, I got to have to wick this kind of light because uh, they're, they're extremely small, you know? Um, so I might have underwicked it a little bit, but um, vape's great in both. I highly recommend it. It gets two thumbs up for me if you like Falcon coils and you want a sub ohm tank and you also want to be able to swap that out for an ITA deck if you're not feeling in the mood or you're on a budget and you don't have any more coils left. Definitely a win-win. Juice is awesome. Highly recommend the juice. I definitely would recommend to get some uh, nicotine uh, like shots to go with it if you do purchase it. Um, I don't know if they, they provide it with it or not. I don't think they do because mine wasn't provided, but who knows? They, they could, maybe they just, who knows, right? But thanks for watching. Stay juiced up, screw lighting up. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. Uh, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Are you into sub ohm tanks? Are you into Falcon coils? Are you into this e-liquid? Are you still looking around for e-liquid? Have you been able to find any e-liquid? I mean, let me know all the gist down below. And uh, hope this was fun. Hope this was entertaining. And I hope this was informative. Catch ya.